It's a job not many would do. Everything we do is inherent, has inherent risk. But for the operators of the state police mobile response team, it's a calling. It takes a certain personality to deal with the stresses that go along with this job. It means a lot to me, and um, the folks that are here with me today training and being trained are, uh, it means a lot to them too. The MRT, the equivalent of a SWAT team and then some. Four teams across New York, 36 operators responding to some of the worst scenarios in the state. We may be providing perimeter, we may be providing search and rescue, we may be providing surveillance. To be the best, their training is intense and extensive, from their first day on the detail to their last. The training continues. I, I still, I, I'm still in training. I've been on the team for six years now. Um, you know, if, if you say to yourself, uh, I, I know it all, you, you should leave. From first aid and firearms. This is what the guys are going to re rely on to save our lives and keep everyone else safe in the different courses, like if they're compromised, like on the ground. Um, it's just, well, we try to cover everything we can, but we can't really account for any situ every situation. Including rappelling from buildings and out of a helicopter. Seat hip or Australian, every part of training, every movement has a purpose. Whether we need, we need to deploy to a rooftop to enter, say, a school, if we had, God forbid, a uh, any type of school incident here in the state of New York, we may need to, the only access we may have may be the rooftop. The training preparing them for anything. Mall shootings, school shootings, hostage situations. The team will be there in some fashion. The best responding to the worst, risking their lives to protect you. Chris and Lauman, Fox 23 News, Daybreak.